with bake. Hair curl. This one is just so black interest. Morning guys. This is my life after my masters, I guess. Um oh my gosh. My nails are ghetto. I gotta take them off because they did utter rubbish. I don't know if you guys can see the gaps, but they did utter rubbish to these nails and I paid 30 pounds for this. I know, it's disgusting. <coughs> Mind you, I don't feel so good, but I don't think it's COVID. It's just I have a really bad cold because of the change in weather. And it's so bad, like so bad, but oh. Uh, this video is literally a week in my life because I feel like I'm going into the, you know, what I'm going to get up to stage in my life, which is kind of like figuring out things I'm going to do, routines and ETC. I don't know why I said it so formally, but yeah. So, um, yeah, so today I'm about to submit my dissertation and yeah, my skin looks so scruffy. Can you guys see the scars? Black scars, like it's really bad. Very disappointed, you know, my skin was giving va va -voom during summer. And here we are, like here we are trying to get iOS 16. Mind you, I got a new phone, iOS 16, iPhone 13 Pro Max. The 14 doesn't make much of a difference, still gonna stick with my iPhone 13 Pro Max. The reason why, because of like picture quality, huge upgrade for my 11, huge upgrade. Um, where was I? Yeah. Today, I have a lot of things doing, so I am going to this hair salon because, mind you, I mean, it's not that bad now, but Jumi, my hairdresser Jumi, she needs to check my hair out because, look, like, I had to gel down and cream down my hair so that it doesn't, it doesn't look rough, but the back is rough. The front of the hair is A-OK. -okay. Some parts of the braids are slipping, sliding. She needs to rebraid. Um, see, look, this this one right here is slipping and sliding. Um, yeah, there's a lot of things she has to do to my hair. And I'm hoping she doesn't charge me for tidying it up because that's just wrong in so many ways. Like, you did my hair, I paid 90 pounds. And within days, it's falling apart. Make it make sense. Uh, mind you, um, because of my dissertation, I will have to go get my hair done probably from like three ish, and then we're also going to get groceries with my sister. My sister is currently having on her work break, so I'm not going to disturb her at her work break because she sleeps. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the day. The next day. Hey. Truck to the plane, to the truck, truck to the hotel lobby. Me, I go through underground garages, presidential suite on deposit, elevator up to the room, shower up, and then we hit the club. Touchdown, gotta see what's up. Area code in my phone. What numbers do I still have? Who do I know? Hey guys, so I am back home from fashion show, and yeah, here's the update right now. So this is basically just like. A weekly few days vlog as you can see um, I have my bonnet and my scarf on because I had to go get my hair redone like tidied up and all that can't believe my hairdresser to charge me 20 pounds just to get that hair tidied up when she knows when she knows that you know the hair is not good because you know I pay 90 pounds for that hair 90 pounds guys and you know and she didn't do her best with that hair and now i had to pay 20 because things are tight and because she had to redo what she didn't do well in the first place and she's blaming it on the fact that my hair is natural anyways guys never doing my hair in the uk um i think from now on i'm just gonna buy like two three weeks 
I just do the wig life like the girlies because this UK when it comes to braids number one very expensive number two doesn't last for like a whole while it only lasts for like two months max and that's annoying plus I just did a night night care skin routine guys I'm so excited that TikTok actually invited me for like London Fashion Week throughout like I'm loving it um I only got to go for the ones that were like RSVP'd so if you know what RSVP means that means you like you kind of like got like into the guest list and kind of like have like an official invite for the show and yeah so I only have like two shows left which is one on Sunday and one on Tuesday because on Monday the Queen is you know being buried but yeah um you know as you can see right now I'm literally tidying up my bed I just changed my sheets and I'm about to go to sleep guys winter is gonna be so cold so I'm basically doubling up on blankets and my duvet and um I have my switch I think I'm gonna play Rayman or Assassin's Creed now that my dissertation is over I can focus on like hobbies amazing literally focusing on hobbies work life i feel like i should do a life update but yeah i will kind of like do that in a separate video because it's a lot like in terms of like breaking down what are my next plans what am i going to do next but yeah tomorrow actually today because like you know it's already past midnight um i'm gonna get groceries today and then after groceries i'm literally like gonna get ready for a party like guys, I haven't been out like this is literally my era to be out I'm sorry but I spent two plus months typing a dissertation and following my parents like in regards to era and such as being at home yes I was able to go out but I never got those chances because all my friends literally ditched me I would say or they all just went to Lagos for summer and I was just stuck here again for the second time writing a 15k plus word dissertation last year it was 10k word dissertation for my undergrad and this year is 15k words like 15k plus words and mind you you know I'm just glad to be done with the whole university master's journey like it's been amazing um, I'm gonna be sharing a lot of like throwback vlogs on that and I'm gonna do like a special life update vlog for you know finishing my degrees so look out for that video but anyways guys i'm going to bed because my camera battery is really low i need to charge my camera a lot of things to do today so yeah so see you guys then one eternity later it's been a lot of days but like this is kind of like just me updating you guys on what i've been up to since my master's degree but yeah um Finished my dissertation quite early, submitted, literally had to um, go for London Fashion Week. Now I'm kind of like just doing the whole job hunting, doing influencing too as well as like a side hustle. I'm also looking for like Pilates and dance classes. I did find one Pilates class on TikTok. Um, I am going to join the group chat and then I also have like a membership. I just signed up. So I am considering Pilates. Um, at the moment i think they offer free classes in southeast london but i'm looking for ones that are like closer which are like central london because you know central london is very competitive and there's a lot of like vim around central london so i think for me now it's just more of like the whole adulting stage kind of like starts now for me um plus there's also news as well i'm officially going to nigeria after like four years three four years it's been a while but dirty december is officially happening september for me was just more of like finishing dissertation finding out if i'm graduating or not like a lot of roller coaster stuff so it was actually quite like a very nice september i would say because to end the month finding out you're graduating your master's degree is just chef's kiss and you know i'm looking forward to getting another two one again or a first class because dissertation does carry a lot but enough the rambling guys i will see you all tomorrow I'll, and i'll just pretty much rest up bye we're back hair claw this one is dressed up like pinterest but anyways yeah like pinterest. literally like pinterest the sun is sunning that's a compliment like the sun is literally sunny. I look so white. Jesus. 
like when you step into the sun, it looks so white. But yeah, okay. Ready, ready. So today we're literally heading to Burnt Cross to go check for an outfit for this one. She needs it for her friend's birthday weekend. But yeah, as for me, I'm going to go and check for the claws. I mean, the shackles of the hair claw. So I'm looking for more clothes to add to my collection. I currently have one from Primark, one from Parks, the hair shop. So I'm trying to build a claw collection. I don't know why. But it's a new obsession. Anyways, we're taking the bus to Burn Cross Mall. Like, I just like how things are always near us, you know. But I think I should just do an outfit for the day. So, varsity jacket from Boohoo. As you all remember, this is my favorite one. And then, joggers are from Boohoo. Graphic tee Boohoo. Shoes are Yeezys. And then, um, you know, we're ready. Oh. Okay, so somebody. Well, I don't even know where my outfit is from. Oh. I think okay, yeah. So, top, the black top is from Zara. Mm -hmm. The sweater is from H and M. Mm -hmm. Um, the skirt is from New Look. Mm -hmm. Shoes are New Balance. Mm -hmm. Is that it? What is priceless? Hmm. This is from LV. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so that's her outfit for the day. And then bag is from Kurt Geiger. 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 <laughs> I don't know. Because I said Kurt Geiger. Geiger. Okay, guys. So, what are we gonna what are we gonna do at Brent Cross? Are we are we maxing out our cards? No, go for it. <laughs> you had. We're going to. Yeah, we're not eating because I'm basically ordering dinner because I'm going out tonight. You know. You know, the girl's done with a dissertation. She's taking time out to party, you know. Get a bit of that and that in there, I think. So, yeah, today I'm going for this event. It's called Pop Brixton. So, I literally have all the info on my phone in regards to the event. So, it's kind of like an evening party for, like, ages 21 plus. Which one makes it good, you know? That one makes it so good. And then... Obviously, there's this, um, there's this event app, this London event app, it's called DICE. Wow, that was an autumn leaf falling in my face. But yeah, so this autumn app, oh my gosh, I said autumn app. <laughs> this event app. I'm just going to say it. doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense, but yeah. So, um, the DICE event app kind of like lets you know like black events going on, which I really like about it. And this one's up Honestly, she's I not need to serious. behave myself. She needs to behave. Like, seriously behave. Problem is, I don't have data when I go out, so... I don't know. And plus, my refund hasn't bounced back from ASOS, which is pissing me off because of the Queen's death. I can't get my refund. Like, guys, comment down if you're going through all this, like, stuff because of Lizzie. Like, it's very annoying. Really annoying. <laughs> so... Basically, what I'm thinking is I'll probably get £10 data when I come back, you know. And then, obviously, I'll get myself my dinner, which is probably ni definitely Nigerian food because I've not had that in a while. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. So now, kind of like just resting up. Yeah. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for me. I'll see you guys at Brent Cross. Bye. Hey. Truck to the plane, to the truck, truck to the hotel lobby. Me, I go through underground garages, presidential suite on deposit, elevator up to the room, shower up, and then we hit the club. Touchdown, gotta see what's up. Area code in my phone. What numbers do I still have? Who do now I just got like a quick skincare routine. My face is really scruffy. Um, we have my soap and glory facial wash. I think I'm gonna start this skincare routine is just using my cellular facial gel wash, simple. Last year, I wanted to start a podcast, but due to like school, obviously due to educational reasons and school and, you know, deadlines, I wasn't able to do that. And then the other day, I just saw like a TikTok about a girl that just started like her own podcast that she was like, 
oh like i think it was kind of a sign Podcasting is a lot of work and yes you get good income like no matter the listeners and stuff it's something that i really want to do but at the same time i'm just gonna push it to like later works every day i'm always always posting i remember one brand paying me like a certain amount and i was just like oh and i was trying to re renegotiate the amount to be more because of like the time and effort put into like creating the content and they were just like oh because this is just based on like the followers that you have on instagram that you know that's how much you get paid with with tiktok yes i do get paid for collabs but like not all the time maybe like once a month and then there's the tiktok creators fund which doesn't pay shit guys please follow like share comment tell a friend to tell a friend because this is actually like gonna be like a main job for me like in the next two to three years well with the products that i have below because they always have new ones too but i haven't gotten a chance to like buy skincare stuff i feel like during my graduation period when i'm buying my wig my dresses that's when i'm gonna buy skincare i'm sorry like i will buy skincare i'll just make another list and update it and be like okay i need to add skincare skincare for me i can roughly spend like 50 pounds on skincare Ugh. Don't get me started on the strawberry moisturizer. She's a 10 out of 10. Oh, like literally a 10 out of 10. I'm sorry. And like when you just massage it to your skin, it's just everything. It's iconic. And it leaves that strawberry scent on your skin. So your skin does smell like strawberries. If I'm being honest, I started taking skincare as a priority since high school, but you know in high school everyone was like oh your skin is great like what products do you like i always get this all the time but it's the thing where i was kind of like born with really good skin as a kid like when i look back at my photos i never really had anything like bad to like i think it's till i got to like uni that my skin was like changing pretty like the color of my skin was just really like out of order like in switzerland and then obviously i started to get marks as well but now i know the products that are good for my skin i use oil free products because i have like oily combination skin and like i literally like crease a lot under here especially my eye area i crease here and i crease under my nose too but not anymore because i found my perfect shade I found my perfect shape of foundation and it's Sephora. I'm going from Sephora Paris and oh my gosh guys, don't get me started on Sephora in Paris because it was like every girl's like beauty dream. I said that the, the Sephora foot mask did justice to my foot. And then let's not get started with like the facial mask. Oh my god, it was everything. Literally everything. Okay guys, so I'm about to go shower. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much my quick skincare routine. All the products are gonna be down below. And yeah, that's pretty much my skin. So I'm gonna just give you guys like a quick result. We're very cute. We're so sleep. Mm. Mm. I'm literally here. Heading all the way to co-op to go get like some things for my sister because guys after three is out I'm gonna go have my sister's movie night. Okay, it's quite windy, but I did not expect that. For the day is Papa jacket from HM, hoodies from Naked Fashion, flare pants are from a gifted brand, and my shoes are crocs. I just wear my crocs everywhere now, it's actually quite sad, but you know, try and set her, go get her, who else? Nothing better. <laughs> like, ugh. if I'm being honest, it's actually quite like winter. Cause like, the whole all black national anthem thing is what I enjoy wearing. So I'll see you guys at co-op. Let's go have a long walk.